So here I want to review cyclic versus linear photosynthesis because I know a lot of people struggled with that on the last exam. So both of these are examples of photosynthesis, which means they both require light in order for this to happen. And photosynthesis, the light reactions in photosynthesis are there basically to make energy molecules that are needed for the plant to make glucose. And we know that all plants are doing cellular respiration, especially at night. Therefore, they need glucose to do oxidative phosphorylation and make ATP just like you and me. But unlike us, plants can make their own glucose using photosynthesis. And in order to make glucose, we know that if glucose is broken down, and glucose gets broken down to six carbon dioxides, that is going to give off energy in the form of NADH and ATP eventually. So if the plants are going the other way, so if the plants are going in this direction, then the plants need that same input. They need ATP, they need NADPH, because this is a plant, and then they can take carbon dioxide out of the air and use it to make glucose, which the plant uses to grow and as a storage for energy later on. So how does the plant do this? Let me erase some of these things right here. How does the plant get this energy that it needs? Well, it does that from the sun. And so it needs electrons, just like the oxidative phosphorylation, our electron transport chain. Our body takes high energy electrons and uses them to make a gradient. So the plant needs electrons. Well, where does it get its electrons from? From water. So water is split, and in doing so, the plant gets low energy electrons, and oxygen and some hydrogen ions are given off as waste product. This is why plants make oxygen. This is exactly the same premise as where we drop off our low energy electrons onto oxygen at the end of the electron transport chain. Well, plants need that electrons, so they're going in the opposite direction. They take water, oxygen's released as a byproduct, and they have the electrons. Those electrons are made high energy by light, and so those high energy electrons are then used in the cytochrome complex here, and those high energy electrons are used to make a hydrogen gradient. And that hydrogen gradient, as we know, can be used to go through ATP synthase and make ATP. Because protons moving from high to low gives off energy, that energy powers ADP conversion to ATP. At the end of that, in linear, these electrons are then passed on to PS1, and they are made high energy by another photon of light, and those high energy electrons are used to create some NADPH. And so in linear photosynthesis, the plant has made ATP and NADPH, and in doing so, they have the energy requirements to go back and you convert carbon dioxide into glucose. Now, because these electrons are now used up, they're added to NADPH, the plant has to go and get more water to make new electrons and continue this process. So this linear process continues to need more and more water. So in times when water is scarce or a lot of ATP is needed, what the plant will do is it'll recycle. Instead of adding those to NADPH, the plant uses light to make these low energy electrons high energy again, and then that continues to pump more and more proton gradient, and then that proton gradient is used to make more and more ATP. So, and then that electron would be stimulated with more light and continue this cycle. That's the cyclic part of this. So what happens is this saves water. You don't need more water in order to get those electrons because the electron is being recycled. It saves water, but the problem is it only makes ATP. It's great that it's making ATP, but if we don't have NADPH, Again, if we don't have NADPH, then we don't have both of the parts needed to convert CO2 
to glucose. And if the plant cannot make glucose, the plant is not growing at the very least and eventually doesn't have enough energy stored to continue its cellular respiration and the plant will die. So the brief summary is that cyclic recycles these electrons. They keep using light, so it happens in light, to make them high energy, but all it's doing is making a proton gradient and making ATP. So this saves water to make ATP, but we need linear to make both NADPH and ATP. So the plant can't do cyclic for very long. The plant needs to do linear to make NADPH and ATP so that it can convert carbon dioxide into glucose.